And unlike some of the other cities we've done, I'm not intimately familiar with Monroe, but I'm really excited to check it out. Behind me is the municipal building, and man, I'm just ready to check out this town. Let's go. When you're in Moreau, you absolutely have to eat at Sarah Jane's. It's country home cooking and it's phenomenal. I had the Hungry Man's breakfast, eggs over medium, biscuits and gravy, home fries that were out of this world, bacon, a Dr. Pepper, man, I am stuffed. This place is epic. Also of note, some historic video game cabinets in there, arcade style, Final Fight, Centipede, loving it. All right, man, let's keep going. This looks pretty cool, let's uh, check it out. Uh, behind me is a building that uh, was built somewhere between 1797 and 1817. It was moved here in the year 1968, and it's been preserved by the Moreau Historical Society. Um, ancient building, very cool. The wood's practically fallen apart. Also of note, uh, we found this plaque out here uh, from the Lemon Township School District uh, from 1872. So yeah, but uh, it's always cool to find uh, a little bit of history when you're uh, exploring a town. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. What the? Well, thank you, Monroe. Uh, any city that gives out free sandals is okay in my book. Oh, Monroe Community Park. Good place to bring the kids or the young at heart. Cameraman, have you ever heard of froth? Uh, well, apparently it's disc golf. Um, and Monroe Community Park has their very own course. Uh, we're looking at uh, we're looking at it right now. One of my absolute favorite things when we're checking out a new town is just walking around the streets where the real people live, the real people work. Uh, we're getting ready to walk around what's considered the downtown historic district of Monroe. Uh, I'm really excited to check it out. You know, one thing that makes a town especially uh, awesome in my book is if they got a dollar store. Now, my family dollar isn't necessarily a dollar store. It's on the cheaper side of things, and uh, they just so happen to have one right here. Let's take a look. So what do you think? Is it me? Let me ask you something. For your Asian cuisine, it's going to be made out of a wok, correct? Well, why would you just want to eat out of any wok when you could eat out of a super wok? Elm Street. I was looking for Freddy Krueger. Unfortunately, on a hot summer day, he was nowhere to be found. But man, I feel like I've been in the boiler room for a couple hours. Woo! You know, it's little things like this, these type of characteristics that make me love small towns and big towns too. I mean, underneath the cracked paint, you can see the original red brick, and um, I can't quite comment on exactly why, but it's just the poeticness of it that I, I, I truly enjoy. Uh, I'm digging Monroe so far. Feast your eyes upon Trader's World. It's one of the biggest uh, flea markets in all of southwestern Ohio uh, and a local landmark. Here is another local landmark. Uh, this one's known as Touchdown Jesus, one of the largest Jesus sculptures in the entire world, uh, Solid Rock Church. Uh, all I have to say about that is amen. We're right here out on the freeway. Uh, behind me you see City Monroe, Sudge, 1817. Thanks so much for joining us on this video today. It's been my pleasure showing you guys Brown Monroe. A uh, great city. Everything from dollar store, teddy bears, to be typical backdrops and landscapes, beautiful uh, vistas, um, parks, sidewalks, uh, an amazing breakfast. I've had a blast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the road, that is.